Well, hello, greetings. I am Fern Brody. I'm the interim university librarian. And my role here is just to basically welcome y'all and give introductions to the speakers today. Uh, I do, though, need to thank a few people. Uh, some people aren't here, but the first person on my list is Provost Beeson and the Year of the Humanities, who gave us money for this. And as uh, Barbara was saying earlier, the Year of the Humanities has been a real boon <laughs> for some of us and has kept us quite busy. And the library has been a recipient of some of those grants, and this is one of them. Also, of course, the Department of Art and Architecture and the USIS Center for Asian Studies, and you're gonna hear from Barbara and Jim. But I also do want to thank the web services in the university library system for doing such a wonderful job with the exhibit, which if you haven't, there is an exhibit talking about the exhibit we're going to be talking about. It's on the ground floor in the lobby exhibit cases, and do definitely go down and take a look at that. And of course, our staff in the East Asian Library deserve a big thanks. Uh, specifically Shui Ying and Hai Wei, who did all of the work and is keeping us going here. And let me just say, because you might think, well, why is the library doing this? And it makes a lot of sense. Um, we are really proud of our East Asian Library, and we've been working for, with Professor Gao for years, um, talking with him about the collection he has of his primary source materials. And it, that is exactly the kind of material that forms the basis for other scholarly work, and therefore libraries are very interested in that. And we want, our role is to preserve and make that kind of material available to scholars um, in a wide-reaching area. So that's why the library. But let me just introduce our speakers really briefly. This is pretty informal. And I'm just going to do this all at once, and then they invite them to come up one after the other. And first, Barbara McCloskey, who's now the chair of the Department of Art and Architecture and the director of the University Art Gallery at the University of Pittsburgh. She's been doing this since 2013. And before that, she was the director of graduate studies here. She's published widely on the relationship between art and politics in 20th century German art, the visual culture of World War II, artistic mediations of the experience of exile in the modern and contemporary eras. And I got that from the website, so I hope that's right. And Dr. James Cook, who's the acting director of Asian Studies Center here at the university. Um, with over two decades of academic experience in China, Japan, and Korea as an environmental and urban historian, Dr. Cook works to develop opportunities for the university, local community, and businesses of Pittsburgh in Asia. And in 2015, he's been named a distinguished overseas educator by China's Ministry of Education. Then Dr. James Myers come to us today from New York, where he's just been named, or just become, or taken over duties as the deputy director and chief curator of the DIA Art Foundation that happened in January of this year, and he's overseeing the foundation's curatorial, education, and publications departments, and its public programs. Before that, he was the associate curator of modern and contemporary art at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., and before that, he was an associate professor of art history at Emory University. And finally, we'll get to hear from Professor Gao Minglu, who's a research professor at the University of Pittsburgh and the foremost contemporary Chinese art historian, scholar, critic, and curator. Dr. Gao has been an active critic, curator, and scholar of contemporary Chinese art since the mid-1980s. His exhibitions on the subject are among the most important ever assembled in the US and China both. His many publications explore the changing relationship between global art movements and Chinese tradition. The exhibit 1989 China Avant-Garde Exhibition Reflections in Hillman Library, that's the exhibit downstairs, provides a rare opportunity to view selected materials from his personal archive relative to the na first nationwide avant-garde exhibition directly associated with contemporary Chinese art. So first, Barbara. 